Ashley gets a coach bag from a date she just met. If that doesn't say sugar daddy vibes, I don't know what does. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about TV One's reality-based TV series, The One, season number one, episode number five. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that notification button so you know when we upload new content. And we thank you and appreciate you for your comments and your support of this channel for sure we're for grateful sure. thank you for sure so let's get into it uh this episode begins with ashley and brent at the dating house speculating on this week's round of dates kurt and tammy brings through a guest with them and her name is dr sherry blake she basically focuses on a couple of different aspects uh, heading into this week's dates and that, that is, is getting both brent and ashley to focus on their expectations and uh, as well as what they actually want. We begin with Brent. He was raised by a single mother. His father exited when he was very young, and his mom was divorced twice. He never witnessed a loving and caring relationship. Therefore, he tends to be random and not intentional about his dating uh, experience with women in the past. Yeah, he also mentioned that he got married at age 24. That was pretty young. Way early. And it didn't him. work out. And his dating patterns have always been no sort of commitment. Yeah, meanwhile, Ashley says that she's been a what she called a professional dater. Yes, Ashley revealed that in the past she um, settled for the men that she dated. Those are her words, and that they were not quite up to snuff, but she she decided to continue relationships with them, and she did not really know when to leave. And when the doctor asked her, well, who broke these relationships off? She said the men did, because she um, was not brave or strong or courageous enough to, to state when something was not good. And uh, that's her problem. Yeah, and she also said that she wants or is looking for a partnership. Yes. From whomever she invariably chooses. Based on their answers, Dr. Uh, Blake told them that they have to be um, really, really sure about who and what they're looking for, what kind of qualities that person must have and not settle for anything less. We see them now go out on their dates. Yeah, Brent decides that his venue to meet his two dates for this week is going to be a rock climbing wall, indoor rock climbing wall. Yes, mm -hmm. and Ashley, she decided to just go to a pool hall. Mm -hmm. Ashley's dates were Kenneth. He is an engineer. He's 48 years old. And uh, Dante. Brett meets his dates. Uh, Ashley, uh, 35, is a construction manager. And Mika, 41, who's an HR specialist. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, Brent commented that they both were bringing the heat because Brent has a certain type. And they had the assets to match. So he was a happy man all the way around. Smiles the entire time, especially when the ladies ascended the wall. Right, because you know they had to put on that harness, and going up the wall will show a little bit of um, black ground. And clearly, our boy was happy with that. Did you see black ground? I sure enough did, because mm. that's what it is. It, no, let me let me shut up. Please. Um, yeah, he was definitely trying to be. Yeah, that's that's what he said. He he wanted to was his objective. He wanted to put his hands in, but thank God someone on uh, all common sense restrained that particular action. Yeah. Ashley met with Ken Kenneth in her confessional. She wasn't really feeling him. She didn't have that look of surprise and you know, like giddiness on her face. And Kenny excused himself he because he told her he had a uh, something for her. When he came back, he presented a gift, and you know, Ashley doesn't like flowers, so she was grateful. She was he actually a little uh, excited to find flowers. Out. Right, she was excited. And uh, she opened it up, and it was a coach bag. Now, I'm not sure, being who I am, if that was something just laying around in Kenny's house from a past sort of gift failed exchange, date experience, gift exchange situation, but it was odd that he will just show up with this purse 
to present um, side on the scene. First he, time meeting her. Right. He doesn't know who she is. He doesn't know what kind of purse that she actually likes. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? I think it was, it was too much too soon. And it was, I, I, I understand in principle the gesture, but it was way too much. It was way over the top uh, to be the first meeting. And not only that, it was a little bit presumptuous and smacks of a whole lot of materialism, um, which seemed like wh how this guy moves. Well, he's in his late 40s and... He's 48. Right. That's late 40s. So it, it just <laughs> gave me old man vibes. You know, when you're young and you're, you're out there, people want to give you gifts. They don't know you, but they think that you have a sort of material sort of mind so you're going to gravitate and take what they have and that's really a trap for an older dude but Ashley is not that person you know what I'm saying yeah uh, she's not someone who's young and impressionable this is a grown-ass woman so I don't think how he thought that was gonna work well again I, I think that it was the maybe right idea but it was the wrong execution of that idea I think that he should have come with something far more um, far more appropriate based on the circumstance. I think that he, you know, he seems like he's a, a nice guy. Uh, he seems like he is someone who's very distinguished, distinguished looking. He had his great Kangol, a lot of uh, salt and pepper. You know, he looked distinguished. But Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Yes, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. There are a whole lot of good looking people out there. And it obviously but, didn't mean anything to Ashley. He right. does have a, a son. Ashley was, she she commented that he was closer to her age, so she had a connection with him. And so they're now shooting Pooh. Kenny is stalking-ish, and Ashley clearly was not feeling uh, Kenny's vibe. I don't know if he picked up what she was putting down. Meanwhile... Yeah, the, the rock climbers were having fun climbing that wall. Yeah. Yes, and at uh, one point, Brett sat down with the ladies, and it was really a, a nice exchange between um, them. The there wasn't any sort of uh, jealousies or petty stuff uh, raising its ugly head. They they both thought that Brett was an, uh, a very handsome man. They loved the salt and pepper vibe. Ashley said that... Um, her son is 15 years old, and I don't think Mika had any children because she made no comment about, you know, kids when uh, Brent asked what it's like dating them. One thing that Mika did do during her confessionals was, for lack of a better expression, claim her man right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And she uh, basically said, hey, this is my man. I'm claiming him right now. There's no other competition but me, and he's going to choose me. Watch and see. Yeah, I. Uh, they just met. You can't claim someone who has not claimed you, and I think it's, um, personally, it's too early to tell. And after their little talk, Brent came up with an idea to uh, to have the ladies compete in a little race, shall we, shall we say, up mm -hmm. the wall, with the winner uh, getting uh, more one-on-one -on -one time with Brent. Mm -hmm. And who won? Mika ended up winning the competition between herself and Ashley. Uh, so she actually won some more time alone with Brent. Ashley asked to speak with Dante privately. And she asked Dante, what is his relationship like with um, his child's mother? And he said, well, like with every relationship, it breaks up because of miscommunication. And they had their issue too. but." But now they're doing better. Ashley said in her confessional that she was coming off a high from last week, being able to choose the two guys. But now I don't think she's connecting with um, either one of them. While Dante may be nice, she doesn't have any sexual attraction to him. And um, Kenny is just um, a wash right through here. But she did say she would give him another opportunity at the, at the dating house. Yes. Later on. Right. Right. So Brett and Ashley meet up to discuss their dates. Yeah. And Brett uh, is surprised by what Ashley has to reveal to him. Ashley tells him that Kenneth, one of her dates, or Kenny, presented her with a coach bag. And what did he say? What was the first thing he said? He said, did you take he the said, did you, did you check the, to make sure that it was real? Did you check? the uh, label inside the bag and whether there was a serial number on it. Um, 
And uh, Ashley said that, yeah, there was a serial number. Kirk and Tammy arrived at the house and Kirk kind of caught, I guess, the tail end of their conversation. And yeah, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? Well, Kurt, when he came through, said that uh, Kenneth giving Ashley that bag is an indication of his age more than anything else. And I would agree with that 100%. And I think he's acting older than 48. It's really sugar daddy vibe. They don't have a whole lot of time to let stuff develop. They got to present what they know. And presenting what they know usually involves some sort of expensive material stuff. They are the dudes who are able to pay for uh, a woman's car, um, buy her a house, pay her her car note, her her rent note. Everything is just materialistic. So they got to move fast to get the goods because they don't have a lot of time on their hands. And that's the same attitude I thought Kenneth brought forward. Just shaking my head on that one. Way too soon. All jokes aside, would you guys be comfortable with a man giving you a coach bag on the first date, he doesn't know anything about you. There are some women, there are some women a, a lot of women, matter of fact, who say, would and yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't flinch about accepting something like that. How about this concept? You are valuable than the most expensive handbag out there. A man presents something expensive and you think that it's okay and he does not know you. I'm talking about the beginning of the relationship. He pulls off something like this. You got to know there's an intention behind that. And that intention may not be for your good. Agreed. Because if, uh, from a man's point of view, you uh, give a gift, then you're expecting something in return. Right. An exchange of, <laughs> an exchange shall we say, of a, gifts. I'm saying what you have is more valuable than any coach bag out there or any Hermes bag, or any Birkin bag. You are more valuable than that. And if you don't know that, try telling yourself that every day, that you are valuable, and you don't have to do and accept stuff you don't want in your life. Because things like that may take away a whole lot from you than give you. A bag is not going to make you feel good when ish starts flowing down and trust and believe ish is going to start flowing quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. What you said. So theme for this week in terms of, you know, the meeting at the dating house, all of the uh, dates and Brent and Ashley. The spread looked good. It looked really good. And both of them had specialty drinks. When the couples came through, the vibe was there. They had people who were happy. They were drinking and, you know, nobody was tossing it back like we've seen in the past, but they all were having a good time. Mm -hmm. And eventually they moved into um, playing this game. Twister. You spin the wheel and whatever it comes up, that's what you do. Um, I believe it was Kenny. He had to twerk. Yeah, that was one of his, uh, one of the tasks that he was asked to perform, you know, as part of one of the questions he had to do. And uh, Ashley commented that when Kenny was twerking, he, he had an arch in his... I'm getting serious with it. He was into it. Want to show off what he had to the ladies. Kenny was trying to make an inappropriate joke as, as it relates to Brent, and it sort of sucked all the energy out of the room. And then he said he was kidding. And uh, Tammy and Kirk uh, uh, come in and see everybody kind of on the board with hands and feet everywhere on the on the on the board. So uh, Kirk uh, Kirk asked, "Well, can I get into it?" Ashley spin the board, and it came up that Kirk needed to kiss the cheek of um, his wife. And um, Kirk decided that he was going to go for what he knows. And he tried to kiss another cheek. Yeah, not the one, uh, not the two on her face. He wanted the cheek on the black ground. That's all I'm going to say about that. And you bet. <laughs> there you go. You I didn't say anything. Kenny decided to present a poem to Ashley that he did on video 
about his future wife, which he believed would be Ashley. And the interesting thing about it was is that it was audible to not only just Ashley, but to Brent, to his two dates, to Dante and Kirk and Tammy as well. Yeah, it was turned up loud and it was six minutes and you could see Ashley cringing a little bit. And again, um, a false start. Kenny does not know Ashley. And something like this, I imagine, would be presented once you know the person, once you're in a dating relationship and experience, you could bring that forward. But he just laid eyes on her. Anyone will think that's a little weird if they have some sort of consciousness about themselves. He can't uh, present that and think it's going to go down well. But again, that that um, sugar daddy syndrome, you got to move quick and you got to move hard and forceful. And while that may play out in your past experience, if you meet a woman who has substance or who knows how to get what she wants, that's not going to roll out well for her. He did move quick. Um... To my, uh, from my vantage point, it was in the wrong direction. What exactly is happening here? I think Kenny need to go back on the streets and do his thing. With low line fruit, a man who know a thing or two is not going to fall for that foolishness. But yeah. Brent got his one-on-one -on -one time with Mika, mm -hmm. and they were talking about, you know, what, it's like to date her what what is what is she all about and she said that you know she she is a cool person she really wants uh children she has a family and they there are a lot of kids and she likes playing auntie but she wants to be in a relationship married and have a family she wants a family of her own and brent uh, brent amen that because that's what exactly what he wants to do because of you know his you know, desire to be at a different place in life. Yes, he said he he was going to be a better father than his father was to him. And, and being a father was very important. While they were talking, Ashley came through mm -hmm. and uh, interrupted them. And Mika wasn't happy about that because she and Brett were staring into each other's eyes and they were holding hands on the couch. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Brett said that, you know, it's difficult between Ashley and Mika because they're both attractive women and he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, Brett, uh, Brett has got a dilemma on yeah. his hands. But the thing about it is, is that he's got, you know, choices. The, the choices that are, are choices that he obviously is well pleased with. Yeah, Ashley indicated that she's a nurturer. She likes taking care of people. That's her love language. And she believes that she's a catch for any man. Uh, and if Brett wants children, she is prepared to have another child. Right. So time comes to to choose. Ashley and Brett is sitting with Kurt and Tammy, and they're discussing their dates. Yeah, and Brett basically says to Kirk and, and Tammy that, hey, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't uh, want to make a decision because he likes both uh, ladies that uh, have made an impression on him, a favorable impression on him this week. Uh, Mika in one way, Ashley in the other. Mm -hmm. uh, they both are wonderful women from his vantage point. What Brent did was, uh, was from my vantage point, uh, opt out the wrong way. Well, actually, Cook um, mentioned that um, he, Brent should give Ashley an opportunity to choose for him because he, he felt like he was in between a rock and a hard place. I don't think that was a good move at all. It makes him seem like and or appear um, um, indecisive. And he was the one that went out on both of those um, or met both of those ladies on both of those occasions. He should be the one that, that makes the decision. I don't think he should leave it, leave it to either Kirk, Tammy and or Ashley. Just didn't think that was a good move. Yeah. And I don't think the ladies thought that was a good move either because they don't know anything about Ashley. And I know when um, Ashley was doing her assessment of both ladies, uh, she mentioned that Mika was getting into the chicken wings, meaning that she was eating a she, lot. She was smashing. And and uh, Ashley was a little perky and a little loud. So you got to be careful about a woman judging you rather than the man you're actually interested in. So invariably what ends up happening is Ashley makes a decision about which one of the ladies will proceed on to the dating house. 
as a, as a result of the choice that she is going to make for Brent this week. Mika was excited for the opportunity to get closer to her man, so to speak. So now we move to Ashley's decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And both Kenny and Dante came through. Mm -hmm. And Ashley said, without a whole lot of fanfare, she thought they were great men, but she was going with Dante. Just like Mika was too much about Brett, this is my man, Kenneth was way too much. That's all we got, isn't it? Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time.